there's two types of people. There's poor people and there's rich people. And I side with the poor people. And I know there's a lot of people that are perfect out there. I'm not one of them. I admitted to it. I came forward. I came clean. And now I'm getting punished for being honest. And that's the, the bottom the, line. What's the rich and poor part got to do with it? The, the, sure. the rich and poor... The, rich, the, right? I'm not, I don't know what you consider rich. No, but you... Well, you're not poor. What do you consider rich? No, you know what I'm saying by right. poor people? The average working person, the average factory worker, the people that live in Toronto community housing, there's one person that takes care of them, and that's me. When they call, I've been in the toughest towns. I've been in Malvern, I've been in Gina Finch, I've been in Rexdale, I've been in Tanridge. I've been in the, and helping these people out that have had nowhere to live, taking people off the street and not bringing them to a shelter, getting them into Toronto community housing, coaching kids, at Don Bosco, 14 year old kids. Peter, you'd cry when you go home. There's no mother or father with some of these kids. They have a little two year old, another three year old, they're warming up milk. They are a father at 14 years old. And then somebody, some stranger comes in and kicks them out of their house, out of their apartment. There's holes in the wall like this. And they're crying and they're sleeping on a park bench in the middle, don't know where to go at 14. Who are they going to go to? They call me. I say, come here. I go and pick them up. Not once, not twice. Hundreds of times this has happened. When they were, nobody else would help them out, I've been there. I've taken you 14, 15-year-olds that have been sleeping in parks that have been kicked out of their house for whatever reason it may be and taken them under my wing and brought them home and told them to sleep on the couch and we'll talk about it in the morning. You know what? Am I perfect? I'm not perfect. But I work with uh, youth day in and day out. I have changed these kids' lives. I'm a positive role model in kids that are down and out. I have seen it firsthand in 22 years of me working with youth day in and day out. I have gone in the toughest parts of the city at early times when these kids had nowhere to sleep. They're sleeping in a park at 14 years old, and I take them, and I bring them under my okay, ring, and I bring, no, listen, and I tell them, you have a place to sit, don't worry about it, sleep on my couch downstairs, and we'll deal with it in the morning. And I have done that numerous times, Counselor. Do you think numerous that, times. Do you think